Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our furthest pickup by far. I'm near the St. Louis area, and I drove, me and Matt did, all the way to Shelbyville, Indiana to pick up this bad boy. We didn't really talk about anything when we filmed the uh, loading. But yeah, it took us, what, five hours to get there? Yeah, five hours, and then even longer on the way back because we ran into some rain. It was a colossal trip. It was worth the effort, but it took a lot of effort. That's for sure. Picked this up from a new friend, Joe. Uh, did some trading. It's my grail game. This is a game I've always wanted ever since I started collecting arcades. This is the one I remember playing in Latin kind of Castle when I was probably 13, 14. So I took the trip. Matt took the trip. 13 hours later, we're back here, and this is the next day, of course. We made a lot of stops, too. I even yeah. gambled five bucks in a slot machine, won two dollars and fifteen cents. Drove past the biggest ball of a string and biggest wind chime. And biggest chair. Yeah. Wooden chair. This is the spot on I-70 that uh, had six big, largest things in the world. We drove by the sign. We didn't actually go by the I wanted to stop themselves. and film, but... <laughs> Anyway, so this is a full motion Sega Outrun. This is the Turbo Edition, uh, which is basically a ROM swap, I think. So it it turns like this, this whole upper cabinet. Right, it turns left. When you turn left, it goes to the right, and you go turn right. And also, when you wreck, the, the whole body shakes. Uh, I'm going to convert it back to original Outrun. I enjoy that game a lot more because Turbo Outrun's linear, so once you finish it, you're pretty much done. I would just get an extra board and have both of them. Cosmetically, it's a little rough, but it's from 87, so what do you expect? 86, actually. Um, got a pretty good deal on it. Now the hard part is unloading it and getting it in the house. Yeah. The trip was... It is really wise. And it weighs what, 661 pounds or something like that? Pounds. Yeah, we're basically going to take it completely apart. Um, remove the, the side pieces. Uh, take off the the top of it. The whole top is, of the cab. This, this, all of this right here comes off, separates from the base, and then once we remove that from the base, we're going to take off the much metal as we possibly can to make it as light as possible. And then to get it in the house, we're going to have to flip the base on its side and walk it in. And this should this should fit. These these pieces will be removed. We're just hoping we can get the base through yeah. the door with just two of us because it's, it's pretty heavy. But while we got this top off, we might as well grease up anything. And, and yeah, we're going to grease the internals, the, the mechanical little. parts. Uh, you know, it's maintenance, especially since on the drive back it rained. We had it tarped and we had plastic wrap around it, but our plastic wrap job wasn't that good and it didn't make the trip. Tar the tarp did, but the uh, plastic wrap didn't. It wasn't any left at all. It kind of damaged the side a little bit, wore some of the paint off, but you know, when you're traveling 600 miles, stuff like that's going to happen. Especially when half of it was in the rain. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only day I could do it, and uh, when you got, that's your only day, I waited a week and a half. And I decided to bring the dog with us, which is oh, God. that got interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when your dog's doing a little dance in your seat, she needs to be let out, or she might poop on you. <laughs> which she did. <laughs> anyway, so... That's the little center gap that's always been. Yeah, that's a nice thing. That's brand new. It might be a repro, I'm not sure. It's probably... Thing? No, you said the glue on the back. Yeah, it's got the original back. Yeah. We could probably start taking it apart now, should we? Um, should well, we the... let's, to keep this video from being four hours long, I figure we can break it down some, come back, check in. Okay. Well, let's remove the seat and the sides. We didn't have it bolted down, so... It's semi taken apart already. 
guard in the back. Yeah. All right, we're gonna break this down some, and then we'll we'll be back shortly and uh, check in on the progress.